foot. They finally made it to Escape Manor. This is their Toronto location, and uh, we uh, are going to try a scary game here today called Asylum. Really excited, and I'm excited to show you guys what that location looks like and also what the game looks like. So, are we ready to go in? Remember, before that, like and subscribe to the channel. What's good everybody, it's Brandon from Escape the Rumors. We are at Escape Manor, still on the Toronto portion of our Canada tour. Uh, we've been playing some really great games, but we're about to play The Asylum. We're actually, uh, I think we're in Asylum right now, but you know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. But before we do so, I'd like to introduce you to Paige, who is the floor manager for The Escape Manor. Um, how are you today? I'm good. How are you I'm great. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Um, so tell us for Escape Manor. First of all, upstairs, once you walk in, this huge bar and, and yes. restaurant or lounge. What would you yeah. classify that? We call it our lounge. Okay. Uh, the Manor Lounge. Uh, we have kitchen upstairs as well as a full bar, and then the escape rooms as well as the axe throwing, which is really cool. Oh, axe throwing too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how many games do you have here available? We have six rooms available. Six rooms, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. And then out of the six, which seems to be the most popular? Most popular, I would say Asylum in terms of the most booked. We have so many people who come in. We consider it one of our legacy rooms okay. as a couple different escape manor locations have the Asylum with different puzzles. Okay. Um, but I'd also say Cabin 13. That's our one room that has a live actor in it. Ooh. It runs uh, usually Wednesday through Sunday, so not every day we're open, but I find that it's also very Right. Yeah. Horror? It is, yep. It's a scary one. <laughs> what, all, all your games horror? All of our games have a little bit of a creepy atmosphere to them, with the exception for Sherwood Forest, which okay. is our newest game. Um, but I would say the only ones that we consider scary are Cabin 13, and then this one can be made scary depending on how the group is feeling. Right. Yeah. So this one doesn't have an option for live actor? No, it okay. does not. Yeah. All right. Well, we're very excited to see what that's all about. Um, so, I feel like you play escape rooms. I do, yes. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. Um, it's probably going to be the hardest question of this whole interview. Yep. Give us one that stood out for you. It doesn't have to be your favorite. Okay. Uh, but one, or more than one if you want to, but probably yeah. the name of the company and the game. Absolutely. Um, I would say one of the best rooms that I've played was the Imaginarium is the location. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of We've been getting a lot of shout outs from owners from about the Okay, area. yeah, yeah. Okay. They, I believe they only have three rooms open right now because I've played all of them, but the one that stood out for me was the Grand Wilshire Hotel. Ooh. It's sort of like a haunted hotel mansion esque room. Um, it wasn't too difficult. Like, I found that my group got through pretty fast, but like production wise, it was like stunning. Wow. It was super cool. Right, yeah. Make it back. Mm -hmm. Check out Imagineer. Shout out to them. Yeah. Um, and then I know you're busy, but do you. Game Master also? Yes, yeah. Okay. I used to do a lot more of it. Um, I've been here since we opened September 2018. I actually work for two other escape room companies. Oh, which one? One I believe you're at Sherlock's Escape. Oh, okay. In, uh, yeah. Yeah, in uh, Kingston. In Kingston, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I used to work there and then exit in Yorkville. Now I work there for a brief wow. period. But no, I've, I hosted here for, gosh, like four years and then been a manager for about a year. So. Out of the total time um, of it being a Game Master, Give us a story of something that you witnessed players doing while watching them on camera. It could be funny, it could be insane, anything you want to share. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like we've seen it all, like downtown Toronto here especially. Believe me, we've like, heard it all, but we've been surprised oh, yeah. by a couple yeah. of stories. My, my host has seen a lot. We have a, a room called Death Row, okay. um, which atmosphere-wise is obviously your classic prison break, but it's a huge cinder block room and we've got huge jail cells. And for the most part, people can't get through those cells, um, but we had one room a few years back where they brought, oh gosh, I 
garage. She must have been like two or three. And she was small enough that she could fit outside the cells. So what the group did is they would like send her out to go get stuff that they couldn't reach and then bring her back. Wow. And it was adorable watching her like like many escape artists. Oh getting my her goodness. Out. <laughs> so they had help. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting way to use your child. Bring mommy that room. key. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that puzzle over there. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that story. <laughs> Um, and then, are there any updates that you'd like to share, that, or what's coming soon or new for a yeah, skin matter? Absolutely. Um, so our newest room actually just opened about a month ago, mm -hmm. Sherwood Forest. Um, I'm a little bit biased on how much I love that room because I was one of the ones who helped design and build it. Oh. Um, but it is probably our like tech heaviest room. It's our like coolest room, I would say, that just opened. We haven't done a lot of advertising for it yet. so. It's sort of a hidden gem here at the moment until right. we do a proper launch for it. And then Escape Manor is a company, and you guys mentioned like the food upstairs. Right. We're actually expanding more into like Manor Lounge and our restaurant side of things. Okay. So we're introducing like more food at all our venues as well, which is really cool. Cool. And it's uh, packed upstairs. There's, yes. there's a lot of people just having a blast. Mm -hmm. um, and Oh, by the way, we do have Sherwood Forest on our blog for uh, new games and upcoming games. So awesome. you're already on there. Oh, great. So, cool. uh, last thing I want to ask you is something most people do not know about Paige. It could be a hidden mm -hmm. talent, a hobby, something like you do outside of Escape Manor. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm really into playing musical instruments. I sort of sat down like in high school many years ago and decided just to like learn as many instruments as I could. Wow. So I'm on my way through of like just trying to pick everything up. I'm at like seven or eight what now, but play piano, cello, flute, uh, mandolin, ukulele, a little bit of trombone, and also saxophone, a little oh bit my of accordion. Goodness. Wow. <laughs> but, okay. So I, besides the skateboard. Do you have a favorite out of those? Like which ones do you? The cello is the prettiest. Oh, it is really, yeah. I don't know too many cellists either. <laughs> no, few and far between, for sure. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. You guys check out our website, escapetherooms.com, so you know what we thought of the asylum. And also, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, because we'll show you what to expect when you get here to Escape Manor, the parking situation, the lobby area, sneak peeks of what to expect inside of the room, um, the, what the restaurant slash lounge area looks like, and uh, the stories that we're providing you from the creators behind the scenes. And book a trip to Toronto to make it over to Escape Manor. Peace.